So finding a tech job in 2025 is not easy. And whoever is saying that it is easy is probably lying. I mean, there's no debate about that, that finding a job in this market is hard. It's really hard. What can we do? So in this video, I'm not going to talk about why, like why we have less jobs, uh, because there are a lot of videos already made on the same topic. So rather than spending time on why it's happening, let's just talk about like what we can do about it. What are the different strategies we can apply so that we can get a job ASAP? I mean, if you're in the job market, you probably need a job by yesterday. But if you don't have the job or you've been applying for, let's say, three or four months and you didn't get an interview or didn't get a job, then I think I can help you there. So the first thing we need to do is not to panic. I mean, we have to face the reality that you are not going to get a job easily in 2025. So accept that. So let's say you're applying a job in January. So you're thinking you should probably get a job by like end of Feb or mid of Feb, but that's not the reality. So I would say add at least three months to your job search. So let's say if you're applying a job in January, so instead of getting your job in Feb or March, you'd get a job maybe in April or late May. So before I talk about all the strategies, I want to make sure that you have some kind of network. Try to make network. I know networking is hard for some people, but if you have friends, if you have like anyone you can contact with, please do say that you're looking for a job. Because in most companies, if they refer someone and they get hired, the person who, who's referring you will get some kind of bonus. Email them, message them, find, find them on LinkedIn or join WhatsApp group, join Discord. I mean, do whatever you want to do so that you can get the job. So once you've done your preparation, you have to be laser focused to get your job. Don't waste time doing any other stuff. So I have a few friends who got laid off and I asked them like what strategies they used. So I made a list of things which you can use. And I think that will certainly help you to get a job sooner rather than later. So strategy number one is finding recruiters. So most of the tech jobs are actually in the hand of recruitment agencies. So those recruitment agencies, like they keep in touch with the employer as well as they are, they're kind of a middleman, right? So they sits in the middle between a candidate and the job. The good thing about recruitment agencies is that they have jobs. You need to find them. Sometimes like on LinkedIn, they'll message you because they are trying to find those people, right? Because they have commission. The only way they'll make money ever is by making a person hire. They have to fill a job. Try to find them. Try to find them on LinkedIn. I think LinkedIn is the best platform. I mean, I'm not a big fan of LinkedIn, but it is what it is, right? I can't change that. You can't change that. So accept that, go to LinkedIn and shoot them a message. And hopefully you will land some kind of interview. So that's the strategy number one. Strategy number two is not to worry too much about the money. Let's say you have experience, few years of experience, or you have no experience. I would say take the first job you get. This is not a kind of market where you will say, oh, I need this kind of job or this kind of salary. I mean, if you can afford yourself, I mean, yeah, if you need a high paid paying job and you don't want to do other jobs, good for you but if you're struggling i would say take a job at least rather than sitting at home i would take any job because in this market if i have let's say i have experience then i can show like i'm not just sitting at home i've been working with this company i worked for three four months i don't like it or i just need a new opportunity so you can make any excuse but get anything rather than nothing so that's the strategy number two make sure if you if anyone gives you an opportunity you take it with both hands strategy number three is moving to big cities or where there are more jobs See, every country has some cities where there are more tech jobs than, than like small cities, right? So find those cities. Another trend I'm seeing is there are a lot of work from home jobs are cutting back and more like hybrid jobs are coming in, right? So what you need to do is go to or move to those cities and take those jobs because there are people, people like me, who will always want to do remote jobs, right? I mean, that's my condition, my scenario. If you can move, if you don't have a family, if you don't have any other responsibilities, why are you sitting at home? Go to those cities and apply jobs and say to them, see, I can I can come five days a week. I don't mind. Because you don't have experience, right? You have less experience. So in this job market, take those opportunities where you can move to big cities and rather than working from home, you can go to office. I know, I know. I'm not a big fan of going to office, but still, if you can find a job where you can learn and you can get earned, right, in this job market, get that job. And strategy number four is make some online presence. Yeah, I mean, but don't don't spend too much time like on Twitter or on Instagram. Do your work, show your work, and just close that app. You don't have to spend whole day on Twitter or Discord or WhatsApp or all those apps. If you have done something which you want to broadcast, broadcast them and come back to your work. Don't spend more than 30, 40 minutes a day on any apps. I mean, you'll be doing a lot of harm if you are wasting your time scrolling through all those Twitter feeds or those Instagram feeds. 
Stop doing that. Post your stuff. Go back to studies or go back to whatever you want to do. But don't waste too much time. And strategy number five is fix your resume and apply more jobs. As I said, like I talked to my friend. So what he was doing, he was applying five to 10 jobs each day. So he has he had a weekly quota. So he was applying those jobs every day. And after like a week, he was even cold emailing those companies that applied to your uh, position and I didn't hear back. So what's going on? You can do that. No one's stopping you. So you can contact them and, and say like you applied to that position and you didn't and you didn't hear anything back. So yeah, so, so do that. So fix your resume. After applying 40 to 50 jobs, if you didn't get anything, then I would say go back to your resume and try to fix it because you're probably making some kind of mistakes in your resume. That's why it's not picking up, right? So yeah, so just fix those things, fix those mistakes. So try to find some online templates or online services where they can help you and try to do that as well. So maybe by end of next week, I'll have something ready. So if you are on my email list, please subscribe to that because I'll be communicating via email because I think that's, that's way easier than making a video. And at last, let's talk about probabilities. So let's say you're applying for, let's say 100 jobs. I would say out of 100, you will only get interview of around 10 to 15. So you have a 10 to 15% of chances to get an interview. And on top of that, getting a job is another 10%. The probability that you will get a job is around 1 to 5%. So you need to apply more jobs. I mean, that's, that's the only math I can do. That's the only way you can get more interviews and higher the amount of interviews you're getting, you have the chance that you will get hired. And I think that's it from today's video. I hope you liked it. If you have any other strategies, please put in the comments so that anyone who is watching this video can get help from that. Well, that's all. I'll see you next week with a new video. Thanks a lot for watching.